Hello and welcome back to Groundworks. This is the episode 3 of the KSS Big Bang. Uh, in this episode we have a very simple mission. Return the refueled SSTO back to the Kerbal Space Center. And our pilots for today are Camry and Gromf. We have already, as you can see, detached from the Kerbal Space Station and are slowly turning around to position our space plane for the transfer orbit uh, at around 100 kilometers. We are enabling the uh, rapier engines and slowly burning, leaving uh, the Kerbal Space Station behind. Now the idea is to while set up a maneuver node for taking down the periapsis to some 40 uh, to 40, 40 kilometers from which we would then be able to perform braking using our uh, brakes uh, and slowly bleeding off energy and hopefully landing back at the Kerbal Space Center. So now the maneuver node is set up and when we get to the maneuver node we will shortly start uh, lowering our periapsis for the re-entry. The interesting thing uh, from the previous missions is that uh, while testing this SSTO it was perfectly capable of delivering scientists to the Kerbal Space Station. The interesting part just before on the final approach just a few hundred meters the fuel ran out so we had to send in the episode 2 a refueling tug that would be uh, refueling this SSTO so we could come back. And now we are basically returning the pilots back home. The scientists that were delivered have become a permanent staff for a certain period of time where they will be no doubt performing important scientific experiments and working on various aspects of a self-sustaining space station. So once the uh, maneuver once the maneuver node is set up we are basically creating an alarm to give us a rough heads up when we would be cresting the cresting the horizon and going into the daylight. Now originally I was trying to set up the re-entry when the Kerbal Space Center is in the sunlight um, so that we can better see how are we going and when we would be landing so we would have easier time landing. And now we are going back to the SSTO where we will be performing the final alignments for the re-entry. We position our SSTO and we open up the air brakes and we also open up all air intakes just to make sure that we introduce as much drag as possible uh, to the rear of the craft. The also important thing worth noting is that we will be checking our fuel and pumping all our fuel forwards to ensure that our center of mass is in 
indeed in front of our center of lift. So yeah, here uh, I'm using the fuel balancer to ensure that this mm, that this balance is managed. Doing the final alignments, and as you can see, we are bleeding. We have started bleeding off energy, and uh, Camry, as the active pilot, is trying to pitch the aircraft 10 percent, uh, 10 degrees off angle to introduce a little bit of drag and also bleed as much speed without overheating the aircraft because uh, in this series we are still playing with the deadly re-entry which can get very tricky if you go very fast so here I'm just dropping the quick save in case the Kraken strikes and by Kraken I mean the KSP out of memory error By the way, here you saw me using enhanced nav ball to move the nav ball from the corner uh, just below to the center of the screen because it's much easier to check the nav ball uh, when flying an SSTO when it's directly below. I typically move it to the left if I'm on the map view or doing something in space for better visibility. As you can see we are descending nicely and we are keeping our descent somewhere between 10 and 100 uh, to ensure that our glide slope is easy enough so that we don't overheat on the re-entry. As you can see all of the air brakes are deployed and these air brakes are by the way uh, property of the B9 uh, B9 mod. We are also preparing the aircraft for the atmospheric flight which means enabling the rapier engines, intakes and switching to the air breathing mode. Now as they are coming over the mountains Camry and Graf notice that they are going a little bit too high uh, which means that uh, uh, and they have just started to see the re-entry effects which means they would Camrys has contacted the flight control and asked if they would be open for him to go for the island landing but uh, since we were pretty much well aligned with the runway and everything a decision was made just to bleed off energy to a decent level and then perform the split S and come to the KSC from another side. So final break is being done in the atmosphere before performing a split S which is basically invert the aircraft and then pull up. Camry flips the aircraft and starts slowly pulling on the end of the stick to ensure that the aircraft doesn't disintegrate due to the excessive uh, forces because as you can see we are playing with Ferrum Aerospace Research which if you pull too many G's your wings will basically rip off. Now we're uh, coming on approach, we have arrested our descent and igniting engines. Camry and ground for reporting to the flight control that they're on final approach and that 
uh, they're telling the guys in the flight control to walk, prepare some snacks because they're coming in. Camera is performing some final alignments with the runway. In the ideal case, you want to be burning when descending to the Kerbal Space Center over the mountains, but now I'm typically just overshoot and have to double back to the runway. So runway in sight. Final adjustments being made. Just the two air brakes are being deployed just to slowly bleed off the excess speed. And time to deploy the landing gear. Camry eyeballing the runway on the final approach. It's coming down pretty fast. A few more moments. Making the final flare and touchdown. Hitting the old brakes hard, just to make sure that we stop before the hangar and touch down. We have successfully stopped on the runway and time to go back to the hangar. Bring up those snacks boys, we're coming home. By the way, this is uh, this will be the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know if you like the commentary. This is the first time I'm doing commentary for this uh, series. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions uh, in the comments below. If you like the video, please do like the video and hit that subscribe button if Kerbal Space Program is your cup of tea. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks signing off. Oh,